What's up, everybody? Inside the Evils, episode two. My man V, all right here. What's good? What's good? Smooth Henny in the building, you know what I'm saying? All right. We're back with some NBA topics. Uh, first things first, let's get this out of the way because I know we've been a few weeks late on this. Uh, Dwayne Wade and Dirk Nowitzki have officially retired. Man. It is actually the end of an era now. The era is coming down. Like I feel like we only have a a couple of players still left that we can actually yeah. say that were part of our childhood. Yeah. Like there's only a couple left. And it's like I understand why D Wade, like D Wade's mm. time has come. I feel like he felt like it was good. Don't yeah. risky come. Mm. But I can't lie when it be a selfish dude and say, hey yo, stay for a couple more seasons. Like it's true. It's like true. you still got a couple more seasons in you, but they made the I mean, choice. The thing is, Dirk's not had no massive injuries. And mm. also, like, he's, he's a shooter, isn't it? So, mm. a lot of shooters don't really get injured like that. So, you could, you could technically still stay, but I think it's just more of the age from whatever. So, you know what I mean? I mean, D-Wade, he's only, like, what, 35, 36? I mm. feel like he had maybe, what, one or two more years on him. But, done as well, injuries and stuff like that. But, because there was still talks of that he was going to join the Lakers next season and we're going to have that. But, yeah. uh, like, I feel like he's... He's chosen the time. He has a little, has a little girl now. So yeah, he did. he's got his family. Yeah, he's so so down, like relax. So down, relax, enjoy, enjoy. Like he, he came, a flash came with a legacy, mm. and everyone is gonna be talking about it. Yeah. So yeah, all the famous right there, all the famous. Mm. You get me? Like I remember, um, I think my favorite moment from Dirk is when, like, obviously, twenty eleven when they first won the championship, and he and with um, against the things against Miami Heat, and. I think ever since that, like he's just showing that, like you can be a star player without anybody else on the team. You can still run it. Mm. You know what I mean? And then you have like Dwayne Wade, who's just like, I think he's kind of he's kind of stayed away from all the like trying to join the super teams. He's kind of stuck with where he was at. Really. He's like Dirk. He, yeah, what? like Dirk. Even Wade. Yeah, like, even Wade. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. Because I think it's just nowadays it's like. For you to win, it's, that seems like an easy option. But I think it's a lot more satisfying being up a good, beating good players, knowing that you went through this person to get a championship. Mm. You know what I mean? So I think, yeah, what that did, I think, right, there's only been, I think there's only a few players in that era who didn't really, you stayed with their team and stuck with it. Yeah. You know what I mean, I think the last, the last one out of there is Vince Carr. I think he said he's got one more year and then that's it. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, but um, yeah, man, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Like, from when they first got drafted to where it is now, it's just like, boy. And you actually have to realize that like, it's, it's been years. It's been like, years. just like, no way. Like, yeah. you've grown up with these guys. That's mm. what I'm saying. But the new age is coming in now. The young bucks are starting to kind of get their souls in. So, the NBA is going to change a little bit. Mm. But it's for us to kind of change, kind of yeah. for us to change with it. I think Wade as well. I think my favorite moment from Wade was um, when I think I think it was the was it the championship with Shaq. Yeah, that yeah when he won his first championship with Shaq. Mm. That and of course like the most signature alley oop with LeBron James. Yeah. That like they've had we've had good memories, man. We've had good memories with them. Like growing up, like from everything from to winning rings, from them to losing that year or whatever. Mm. But it's there, man. I mean. Like they both, I think both definitely are gonna be in like Hall of Fame. They're gonna be go. They're gonna go down as history's best place to do it. Yeah, you know. Like I feel like have have they actually have they been entered have they been entered in? in um, not yet, but I think it's normally it takes a couple of months to a year I think before they start entering them into the Hall of Fame. Mm. So, but they'll be there. So they'll they'll definitely, be there. they'll be there. Therefore, gonna be there. Also, I think I think um, those two. I think those two. They they set the plateau for like what you know what they did for their for you know Dwayne Wade being a, one, probably one of the best shooting guards of that time, mm. and then Dirk be one of the best powerfuls of that time. True, you know they just they just set the mark and everything else. You know what I mean? I it's, think they kind of increased the game of what was expected of someone in that position. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, I know a lot of people look at Tim Duncan as like one of the best powerfuls ever, but. You can't forget Dirk, man. Dirk mm-hmm. is just like there, like there, like in the driving line. So I, I think I see him as top five. I can see him yeah, no, he's definitely top five. Definitely seems like I can even see Wade as top five, mm-hmm. just because of the impact that like he's had. Yeah, yeah. 
It's mad, man. But I think it's been what? How many years? What? Since been nearly 15, going on 20 years since they've been around? Yeah, joint. I think they've all had yeah, like, had a few. You know what I mean? So it's just that the few it's just features the few shot is gonna be like who's gonna be the next one of those guys or who's gonna take take it take a step further now. Mm. But yeah, let's get into the playoffs, man. So it's officially the first round now. Yeah. So on the west we've got Golden State Warriors versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, Houston Rockets versus Utah Jazz. Portland Trailblazers versus OKC Thunder. And you've got Denver Nuggets versus Spurs. So, with the West, um, it's 3 1 at the moment with Golden State Warriors and Clippers. V, as you're a Golden State Warriors fan, what did you expect? An easy round like this? No, I don't think so. I feel like ever since, as I say, like the super team was mm-hmm. created. Yeah people are now starting to realise that they're having to readjust their game in order to mm. pursue it. Yeah. But of course, like we've got, like we're having all five of our people on. Mm. One person of that gets injured, it turns into a whole thing because we yeah, feel like yeah. we lose a little bit of things. Because the Marcus Jordan just got re-injured again in the playoffs. But yeah. And then now obviously that's just going to set something that's up. That's going to set something up. So it's like, it's a thing where I like the way that we played before because mm. on the basis we had I'll call it a fail safe in case that that did happen. Yeah. But we have all of them all at once. But yeah. now we're having them all at once. Oh, thing. Yeah. I still believe that we could potentially, I don't want to say that I'm not going to be confident to say that we're going to take it. Yeah. But I feel like we yeah. are in the contenders to take it this yeah. year again. Hmm. Um, of course, like we've had years where it's been in the finals, it's been us against the Cavs. Hmm. But with LeBron making his trade to the Lakers, Mm. And Lakers not making it in, yeah. it has eased up a little bit. Yeah. But we know that the Rockets are also in, are also in there as well. Yeah. And the Rockets have been coming strong, and Harden is yeah. on our asses trying to come, trying to take us down. Yeah. So it is going to be interesting to see if we both do make it to the second round. It's going yeah. to be a definitely interesting six games yeah. to see who takes it. It's going to be interesting because. Um... I can see, I don't know why, but I really, like, when I saw the game two, where the Clippers just winning that second that second game, I was just like, okay. The Clippers have got something, can it? They, they've got something, maybe a bit more rebuilding time and whatever. They mm-hmm. might have something in the few, next two, three years to come by, you know, because especially guys like Lou Williams, Patrick Bredevilly, yeah. like, it's crazy. And the thing, they, they trade away Tobias Harris, but they've still come strong. They've still made the playoffs and still come strong. So it's just a matter of that. But, but um only thing that we gotta remember though is that right now we've just found out that Steph was basically shooting blind yeah. for a large a large part of his career. Yeah. Like to this day, I still don't understand how a man that was shooting blind will still be able to make shots from the halfway court. Yeah. And now they, now he's got with him wearing contacts. I think we're expecting that he's his field goal is just gonna go up. Yeah. And his shots are gonna be way more accurate. Yeah. Clay is doing that, but we're still in talks of whether at the end of the season we're gonna lose Clay, if we're gonna lose Kevin. Yeah. Like there's still talks that they could they could decide to leave. Yeah, I've been going into that a little bit. What's your intake on that? Like, do you see could you see Clay? I could, the thing is, me personally, I could see Clay going. I c I can see KD going to some degree. But it depends who whoever goes first, I think one of them will stay, at least. I don't know why. I feel like based on Kevin's history yeah i can see him leaving mm. i can see clay leaving but i can see it being a one where he would really have to be like it would have to be a team that is dropping him that yeah. he feels like he can actually make a difference with yeah because don't get me wrong but i feel like the diff- the, the problem was is that with the creation of, of the super team mm. like i feel like clay was happy when it was when before the super team was there because yeah. it was kind of like him like the Splash Brothers were taking those two were taking it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There they had I mean, um, they had Green that was doing his stuff on the P- on the BF and it was like everyone kind of whole thing and they had everyone yeah. like Udawa and everyone that was kind of coming everyone in and kind of own, everyone had their own space and their own, own thing to do choose someone to do it. Yeah. But yeah. it seems like once KD came into it and yeah. now Demarcus is here, yeah. it's kind of like I realized because it's like it's like it's like. 
it's like for example where you're on a train mm. and you've you've got space and then now it becomes overcrowded and you just don't feel comfortable and you just want yeah. to get off the train. Because I remember like, when like, I remember when Clay like I remember he was averaging twenty plus points and over the, over the last two years it's dropped down now because he's had to find a, another role within the team that he's got now and it's just like well he can't do what he wants to do. That's what I'm saying. Because, because on the whole fact is you've got. Steph, who's not, I would say he's ball dependent, but he's mm. cool with not having a ball. Yeah, yeah, but then you, you've got that and you've got him, he's just, because he was ball dependent that time, yeah. and now he's kind of tied it down yeah, a little bit. Course, Only for KD to therefore come in yeah. and now be that ball dependent yeah. person. Yeah, of course. Of course. And, well, of course, we're still trying to talk about KD trying to be, he wants to be better than LeBron, he wants to be talked as being better than LeBron. Yeah. But, of course, there's still another thing. And I feel like if he does leave, mm. Whichever team he leaves to go to, yeah, there'll be a whole, there'll be a stigma on his on the stigma on his head of KD is a person that stays and leaves where yeah, 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 and stays and leaves where he, where he wants to. Yeah, of course. Because of course. I can't lie, him leaving a- OKC was the worst option for him. Yeah, I feel yeah. like he was. They were living and they were building something. I, I think things. honestly, like where it is now, I've I've seen this, and I think some people defend KD with the whole fact that you know, like. Ain't, isn't the league supposed to be where you can win championships? And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Like, there's nothing wrong with winning championships. But then, you're leaving foundations to where it's causing problems for everyone else, and then you join a team that's already built to win. That's just like, well, some people can say it's unfair. Some people say whatever. Because but, I understand you know? that it's all about gaining the rings. But then we're still talking about like he left. Mm. He gained the ring with with Golden State. And now we're already talking about that. There's chances he could leave then. So what was yeah. the point? If it's if it's seriously about the rings, yeah, then literally then you might as well hop to every single team that have ever won the ring so far. Yeah, because if that is all that as a player that you stand for, you're not gonna make it. Mm. You're you're not going to make it. Like D Wade had a chance. He could have he could have left and done the exact same thing, yeah, but he well, did not. He didn't. Dirk could have done that. He did not. And these are people that we are considering that are going to be in the Hall of Fame for a long yeah, ass time. Yeah, because they just stuck it out. Because they stuck it out. Yeah. But and at the same time, it's like, yeah, people may say that, oh, yeah, Steph. But Steph will be known as being the guy who stuck it out for his team. Yeah, no, of course, of course. He's there. Like, Steph, I can see Steph. Steph will be there forever, man. He'll be there for pretty much until his career is done. I can see that, definitely. I can see Draymond same same, same yeah same thing. I thought I feel like if you put it Steph and Draymond are going to be the two people that are going to stay with that team and that will not leave yeah yeah of course, of course. and I hoped and I hope that Clay is also part of that list yeah yeah because I want Kate I want Clay to stay but I think me personally I would want to see Clay to I would I would want Clay to move just because of the fact that you know like if your role has been diminished in that team then you might as well. No, no it's true, but then I feel like for me, and this is coming from, I want KD to leave. Mm-hmm. And I want KD to leave because I feel like KD has had it in his head now that he believes that because he's there is a reason why we've held it down. When, yeah. we, when really, we'll hold it down before you came there. Yeah. We just adjusted our game to include you in it. Yeah, It's basically like when a new kid moves to a new school. Mm-hmm. The school already have their foundation and their system. People who have been in the school already know what they're doing. We're just adjusting to the fact that you've now been added. Yeah. You haven't changed anything. Yeah. So I feel like if KD leaves, I feel like Clay will be more, uh, he'll be able to have his role back. Yeah. And he will feel like he's doing more for the team now because now the problem is he doesn't feel like he's doing enough. Yeah. I think, uh, what was it? I think it was two. Was it last season or it might have been the season before? Yeah, I'm sure it was last season when Clay had that 60 point game. Mm hmm. And, but that was, it's been a long while since he's dropped points like that. And I'm just like, yeah. Like, but remember, that was a time where people were saying, yo, you, like, people were like, oh, yeah, watch Steph. Mm. And people were always, you always used to say, oh, yeah, watch Clay as well. Like, those two together, I think. But yeah. that was a point where you had to go, yo, you better watch Steph. Watch, watch Clay. Yeah. Watch Steph too. Watch Clay too. Yeah. Because if you let any of them two get between that three mark, that's it. Green that's bean. It. <laughs> green <laughs> bean. They dropping it hard and they coming for your jugular. Mm. Boy, but yeah, I think first round right now, first round's pretty okay. Now you see Denver and Spurs. What, what's your take on that? Because my my thing is this: is that I can I want the Denver Nuggets to get through to the conference finals, but I could not see it happen. I can't see it. 
the fact that they've made it here was a oh yeah, 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 yeah. but I can't lie. I I feel like if the Warriors don't knock them out, <laughs> the Rockets go knock them out. Mm. And if the Rockets don't knock them out, hell, the Spurs are gonna knock them out. Yeah. I feel like right now is like they're the underdogs, but yeah. if they they wait, yo, they have to literally come in overdrive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like with the, I feel like with Denver right now, I don't feel like I feel like they're not playoff ready. I don't feel like they're playoff ready. And the reason why I say this is but because I I I know. I feel like this was a definition of them. They could make it to the yeah, playoffs. They can make, but yeah. I feel like in order to survive in the playoffs, they need they, something. They need, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, Jokic is a good player. they got Isaiah Thomas. they got mm. Paul Millsap. they got a, a good couple of core guys that help the team. Yeah. But the problem is is that they don't have that that star, yeah. that proper superstar that can give them that extra push. You know what I mean? But then again, when it comes off-season... They're going to be one of the focus points now where some players might want to go. So Because I can't lie. I feel like if if Kevin Durant was to go there, mm. I feel like that would be their missing piece. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he would, yeah. be, he would be beneficial for him because mm. he'd be able to actually be that star that he's always wanted to be in the yeah. team. Yeah, uh, definitely. He's got, like, Jokic, who's dope. Mm. And he's, and what, he's not even been here that long. He's, he started to make a name for himself. Like, he's got players there that will actually be able to help him do it. Mm. And I feel like if he goes there, then hey, yo, next season or the season after, we might actually be we might actually be saying, oh, yo, watch out for Denver. Too. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, of course, of course. But I think they've surprised everyone in the West anyway. Because yeah, they did. That they team did. is just, because the, it's, it's the focus. They didn't, they didn't ever really focus on everyone. Else. They just focused on playing ball. Mm. And that's the main thing you got to have with that team. So they just focus. But, with this run, I don't know, because it's tied 2 2. I always think, well, you know what? The Spurs have been in these positions before and they've come out of it really strong. No matter mm. what position Spurs are in, they, come they can out, still yeah. come out strong. So it's just whatever, it's just the whatever fact. If Denver can win game three, then I can say, okay, fine, second round. But I don't know where it is that, like, it, potentially the Spurs could stop them. Potentially. Do you think he's going to get to game six? Mm. Because I feel like he will get to game six. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it's going to be a close call to where yes. we may get we may get a three two, mm. and we're thinking we're trying to four two it, yeah. and then whoever was on the losing end of it comes back, yeah. and then we're going to take it to game six, and game six is going to be that everyone's going to be on the edge of their seat, yeah, and whoever takes it. Now, if Denver make it round two. It's going to be a problem because who who could they be going up against? Uh, so it's like, uh, well, they could go up against Portland right now because they're Portland on three one against OKC. So right now, for example, if it's three one, so let's just say they go against Portland. Yeah, I can't lie. I don't think they will be able to survive against Portland. Yeah, no, I don't think they can. The thing is, um, I feel like OKC or Portland, they yeah. won't be able to they survive. Couldn't, they couldn't do it now. They kind of think they couldn't do it. I feel like it will take them to it will take Portland to slack off real hard. In order for them to come yeah. and take something, that's what I'm saying. I think because um, didn't they lose Portland? Didn't they? In, someone had an injury. Uh, I think it was Nurkic. I think it was him. Mm. Yeah, he broken. Oh, that game was horrible actually. For him, he's a broken leg. Boy, that was mad. But yeah, like I think because he's out. I, when he when he got injured, I thought they would kind of struggle a bit. But it seems like they're doing okay for Portland for now. Mm. You know what I mean? But yeah, I could see Portland going conference finals. I can yeah. see him going conference finals. I feel like it's going to work. I've like, I feel like if the Spurs take them out, I feel like is it will be a wake up call for the team to know that we can make it to the yeah, playoffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. All we need to do now is build a team that we have yeah. to make us playoff ready, and saying. then we can actually yeah. go ag- yeah. go against some of these good ass teams. Of course, of course, course. What? Because of course you're a Lakers fan. Mm. So what's your talks on them? Because of course, from the moment that we heard that LeBron was going to be moved, yeah. That was going to make the transfer to the Lakers. Yeah, it was a thing where everyone was like, "Oh, they're on the West Side now." So it's like LeBron on the West Side is going to be is going to be a lot. The thing is, it frustrates me because, like, okay, at first when I first saw LeBron was coming to Lakers, I was happy. I was thinking, "All right, cool, we might have a chance to make the playoffs this year." But I never, I wasn't definite about it. Mm. But I was, I was hoping that we had like a 50-50 chance. But then when it got towards the second half of the season. 
things didn't happen certain way. And then mm. LeBron said, oh, you know, playoff mode activated, activated now. And I was like, but where was this throughout the whole of the season? Like, you're telling me that you've only just activated the playoff mode now. Like, nah, like, you know what I mean? You're supposed to be LeBron James. You're supposed to, like, boost everybody around you. Mm. And then all of a sudden, like, the chemistry's going wrong. Rondo's sitting away from the team. He's not really communicating. Well, LeBron's not really communicating with that person. And it's just like, well, the team's all obviously all over the place now. Mm. You know what I mean? So... I think I think people don't give enough credit to Luke Walton as a coach, and and and, and he's even going even into management now that we're starting to lose a couple of people. That's what management. I'm saying. Like Magic Johnson left pres- left the role. Now they're saying that Luke Walton parted ways with them now. Mm-hmm. And personally, personally, I thought he was okay, yeah. but obviously, some people just you know they want ah oh, he's not the best coach for that team. I think fair enough, fine, but. We need someone who can just help us get out of our position first. Mm. Then we can start. Then if we try and get to the playoffs, we don't win anything consistently. Then fine, we can move, move on. But mm. I thought he was an okay coach. Um, I think apparently the coaches we're looking into now is either Jason Kidd or Tyrone Lue. Mm. You know what I mean? I would prefer to have Jason Kidd rather than Tyrone Lue. Mm. Just because I know what Jason Kidd is like, especially what he did for the box. So I hope that's the case. But... um. I don't know. It's just weird. Like the Lakers, I was expected. I had high expectations like everybody else. Yeah. But that went fast. It went fast. That's the whole problem. That's the whole problem I had. Because I remember everyone was talking about because I, as a GSW, I feel like we we got Demarcus Cousins mm. as a fail safe. Yeah. When we heard that LeBron was going to the Lakers, it was like, oh shit, yo, yo, we need to, we need to get someone because we need a we need a first. Not saying that Green could have taken, but. From past experience, mm. Green couldn't hold him. Yeah, it's true. Green couldn't hold him. It's true. And it was like we needed someone who can, you know, in that in that position can hold it. Mm. Now there's still talks that they're gonna start recruiting. Um, who is it that we've got potentially that could be going to the Lakers? Um, potentially Anthony Davis. Yeah, potentially. Potentially, potentially. now. Where's your stance on that move? Do you think that that move is going to work? I don't think it's going to happen because when it came to all when it came to All Star Weekend before when we tried to trade him before then, we nearly shifted the whole of our young core just to get one guy, and I'm just like, well, if that's the case, then there's no point worth it then, mm. because I mean, I like to, they, that they wanted to be, they wanted to trade with Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Kyle Kuzma, all these other guys, and yeah. I'm just there thinking like, well, what's the point? What is the point? I don't have Davis is a great player. I'm not disregarding the fact, but be realistic. That's my view on it. It's yeah, not like it's like it's your basis. Like you're taking a, most of your team that you're gonna def after. That's what I'm saying. After look what happened to DeAndre Russell. We traded him for Lonzo Ball. Now look where he is. He's in the playoffs. Mm. He's ready. Whether he's losing or not, he's in the playoffs with his team. That's the whole thing. I come. That's the whole my my point where I come from. But. It's just, I don't believe that. We don't believe that we lost that like you guys lost Russell for Lonzo. That it, it's for Lonzo. It doesn't don't make even, sense. Look, don't, look, people don't get don't get me wrong, but Lonzo. <laughs> may it be in real life or in two K, he irritates me. You know what it is like Lonzo. He, he I don't know. Like I think he can be. A, Good player, but obviously it's just the, unfortunately because of um, everything else that's been going on with him, like his dad, the business right now, mm. all that other stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like a distraction. Now that's a distraction. I want to see what he's like more focused on the court now. Mm. Forget about your your brand that can come later. For that, like, you can rebuild that anytime because you got the money. Yeah, focus now on just playing ball and helping your team out where you can. That's it. Simple. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't, I don't, it, it's not, it should be self-explanatory, but for some people it's harder than where it is, but I don't see, I don't, like, a lot of people, like, were like, oh, yeah, but Sloan's was a second round pick, but it's, like, it's not even about that, Lonzo was, like, DeAndre Russell was a second round pick, not even a second round pick, sorry, he was a, he was a second pick in the first round. Mm. Didn't make no sense. We had a, we had a promising future, and then all, 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 all management to do was like, oh, let's trade him, trade him, trade that person, that's it. All these other players are doing so much better now. It's crazy. But it is what it is. Like, uh, okay, so last bit of the West, uh, what's it? Rockets versus Utah. Okay. Now, 
That's already three oh. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised anyway, to be honest. Because it's, it's, I can't lie. When it comes to the Rockets, the Rockets got a lot of experienced players who have played yeah. in the playoffs mm. countless times exactly. against Utah, who have just they, yeah. Yeah. who have just got who've got some. Yeah. I would we'll classify them as newbies. Yeah. To to the playoff experience. Yeah. So it does. It was going to look like it was going to be a breeze, and I can't yeah. lie. Harden has. Come, he's 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 coming hard. Yeah, no, he has. I think a lot of people like, um, especially during the season, they were talking about like how, um, you know, where people are saying like, oh, you know, like the way he's playing, it's not gonna get your, it's not gonna win you the championship, but it's to help motivate the team. It's not just about winning the championship; it's to help motivate the team as well. And I feel like that is what is getting them in that three because I feel like him motivating the team, and I feel like his plan was get us to the playoffs. So then they can understand that we are in the playoffs and everyone else goes, all right, there is a chance. Because I feel like for the rest of the season, because everyone, they think, oh, there's not a chance. Yeah. We might not make it. Yeah. And him getting them there yeah. was a kind of a, all right, heat up. Yeah. Let, let's heat up now. Yeah, and that's what, and now they're on the, they're on the three, like, if they win the next game, they they is is it's straight fun, yeah. it's a straight breeze. Of course, cool. Because I mean, like the thing is, I, I can get I get why he was playing that because CP CP three was out for some time. Mm. It's due to injuries. And obviously, CP three is oh, he's like 33, 34. Yeah, he's getting older. Injuries are coming along. So Harden is doing what he's doing. Like CP three can still do what he can. Yeah, but, but it's the injury. He's becoming yeah. injury prone now, and that's the issue. Is like, well, Harden doesn't know how long he's got left, so he's boarding out until. Like CP3, so he he sees CP3 can have like an inch of like a difference. Yeah. And then obviously the whole team can just do what they need to do. Because I can't lie, like with the Rockets, I mean, they, for me, they should have been higher in the seeding. Mm. They should have been higher, but because of, they know, they trade away Trevor Ariza, they need lost a few guys to whatever, it's hard. It, it take, when you lose a certain player, it impacts the whole the team. team yeah. yeah. It impacts them a whole they have to they have to readjust their chemistry based on the fact that they've lost someone that they already had yeah. huge chemistry of. Yeah. yeah. Of course, of course, of course. All right, so that's it for the West now. Let's look into the East. So, Milwaukee versus Detroit. <laughs> that's already 3 0. Yep. I could see that coming anyway. Yeah. But like, remember, Milwaukee Bucks, I can't lie, they've, they've, got, they've, got, the, they've got the man. Mm. The Greek, they got the. He has been coming for heads, bro. He's been coming for heads. You see, like it's like it's not a thing where like no cap, like he's. I feel like he's he's got that potential to literally hold yeah. that LeBron James time of stature in his team. Like yeah, he's no, got that. Defo, defo, defo. Like defo. the Milwaukee Bucks. Like let's take it before his entry there. Yeah. They weren't exactly being spoken nah, about were, that they hard. Being spoken about, they were bad. They, I don't think they made the playoffs really, really? like that. To be honest, and then now it's like it's a chance, <laughs> but it's not even just the Greek feet. They got Eric Bledsoe, yeah, uh, Chris Middleton, Alvin mm-hmm. Brogdon, and then they've got um, who's the son of Brook Lopez. Mm. They got a couple guys. They their their team is pretty much to the depth. Yeah, they've they depth it out a lot. You know what I mean? So now. They're wondering if they can push it to that final, to the get to the champion, to get to a championship, to get to the finals at least now. Whereas I think, yeah, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Like, it's highly possible. And I think like Yanis, I see him, I can see him just slightly going over the edge over MVP than James Harden. Mm-hmm. But I can understand why James Harden would win it. Yeah. Oh, but then again, it. I feel like there's a lot of contenders this play, this playoffs, but yeah. we, can't, we won't know until, until really after. until after. Yeah. But I feel like the second the second leg going to the finals is where we're gonna really yeah, gonna see yeah. like who what can bring like what pushing. team and what players can actually take MVP. Yeah, yeah, of course, definitely, definitely. But projections, yeah. If you could choose a player to take MVP, who you like? Who you got your bag on? I'm picking Giannis. I'm picking Alan Sands now. I'm picking him. I feel like the three people that it could be in between, and that's the third person being that he holds it, he holds it down. Yeah, is going to be between Giannis, yeah, Harden, and Curry. Mm. I feel like those are going to be the three. Yeah, I feel like 
Curry is there, but I feel like he has to keep. He has to keep the yeah, heat he's up. He's got a, yeah. For but, because, because, but he's had he's had a history of him cooling down. Yeah. When he should have really yeah. been heating up, like one for twenty one. Yeah. Five points. Yeah, we all know. Yeah, that's the like. But I feel like if he continues to keep consistently and consistently keeps keeps up, yeah, he could be in that. I feel like yes. Because of how he played during the normal season, Harden is really up there. Yeah. But I feel like he has he has to it has to be a basic a, a breeze. Yeah. He has to breeze the rest of it. But I feel like Giannis is someone that everyone has to watch out for because I feel like now is where you're gonna really gonna see what he can actually do. Yeah. And from what I can see from head, I don't think he actually has that much competition on the East. So, so yeah, no, he doesn't. He don't really have a yeah. competition. So I feel like yeah. the West is where it's gonna be between yeah. Harden and Steph to see who can who is basically gonna go up against mm. for that. Mm. But I feel like whoever they give it to, we're not gonna diminish on that this season they've had some stronger tenders. Yeah, no, of course, definitely, 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 definitely. But yeah, like um yeah, you could go to any one of them. Mm. But when it comes okay, so now let's look at Boston and Indiana Pacers. Boston being the first team to actually make it to the yeah. second leg. I was surprised. I mean, the thing is, like, Boston is another team who I expected higher. But because of how it was with Milwaukee, the Sixers, the Raptors, I it, it's just one team had to drop. Yeah. So, and that was unfortunately Boston because they, you know, carry injuries, Gordon Hayward, long injuries and stuff. Yeah. They've been just come back, adjusted to the team. But now, like, you know, from seeing what they've done in the first round, yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Me, I'm impressed. And I think... Ooh, they, do you think Do you think we should also include Kyrie on that? Because mm. I feel like now he's... I can't lie. I feel like the injury, as much as it was a bit... It came out a good time yeah. because he was able to recover and then literally come right back in directly into the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, you could so he was given the extra like Definitely. off season like the, the little time in yeah, between yeah. to kind of like get himself for a nice coming in, and this I think would this be the first season we're going to see with him in with Boston taking in the playoffs? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, the first. Yeah. So we're going to see. We're going to see what he can do. Yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of people that really were real mad that that Kyrie was able to that Kyrie team was able to make it, mm. but the bronze wasn't. Yeah. I remember they both parted the same team. Mm. Yeah. Now there's still talks on whether they. I know they are looking at Kyrie to come to Lakers, yeah, but I don't, I don't think, think that's so. it. That's Ky- going to happen. Kyrie's one of those players that he left for a reason, yeah, and I don't yeah. feel like he's going to go back yeah. to death or go back to the same thing. Just on a different, just on different, different jersey. Think Kyrie wants to have more sense, have his own team where he, like he's he, but he's the main choice, yeah, sort of thing. When because when LeBron went there, he was second. Yeah. To that, unfortunately. But, yeah, it's what it is. Kyrie, like, he, he he's a player who's always wanting to be like, oh, this is my team. I can, you know, run with it how I need to. And then when LeBron came along, it's like, well, I can run the team also. I'm on this player, on that, whatever. Playoff experience. It's just, it's one of those yeah. things now. So, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, I was surprised. Because, I mean, um, when I saw four, I was like, well, okay, Boston... They're gonna be. Is, I think. I think the Bucks can still beat them, but I think um, it's gonna be Game Six. I can see Game Six. Yeah, true. I can see but game six. I feel like them for them to breeze them, mm. like hit them with a four zero, it was was cold. Like there yeah. was there was nothing. But at the same time, I feel like if the which is where it looking like the Bucks are gonna make it. Mm. I guess the Bucks is where it's really gonna yeah, be on. Like it's and I feel like that game. Mm. Warriors versus the Rockets. Yeah. If they're that, that's how it seems like it's going to go. Mm. Those two games is where everyone's going to tune in. Mm. Because those two games are really going to see where, like, yeah. those are like, they've got star players. Yeah, and those star players are going to go up against each other. And it's going to be, it's going to yeah. be interesting. Yeah. I guess you could say with the Boston Pacers, I mean, the Pacers, they can't really do much because uh, Victor Deep is out with a season in the year. Yeah. So, they could they couldn't they couldn't do much. They couldn't really do much. But for them, but I'll go congratulate them for making it to the playoffs. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, so let's look at the Sixers and the Nets. Now the Sixers person the Nets have it's been a it's been a heated it's been heated so far. Yeah, heated, yeah. It's been yeah. heated. Yeah. It's been heated. Like I think I'm not sure if you saw the last game, like we had a couple we had a rumble. 
we, well, not really, I wouldn't call it a Royal Rumble, but mm. we had, like, it got heated. Like, I feel like the playoff now is, is really going to be the heated point when yeah. everyone's trying to get it. Yeah. Trying to do it. Um, the Sixers. Ben, so we have Sixers, what we got, who we got? Ben Simmons. Jordan Embiid. Uh, Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Tobias Harris and JJ Reddick at the starting. Line now, that's a strong five. Yeah, that is. But I feel like they need to keep their cool. Yeah. I feel like they get way they get way too heated. Yeah. Yeah. To the point where they start to make mistakes and then the other team, especially if a team yeah. if they go up against a team that's that's calm and collected and can and can keep their head, yeah, that is mad. they'll use that against yeah, exactly. them. Because I remember when um because look at cause look what happened to Ben Simmons, bro, because he was quiet. He, he didn't really drop anything in mm. the first game or so. And you know, people were just getting on to him like, oh Ben Simmons, you're shooting, this and that. Whatever, it was just getting to him, you know what I mean? So if they can lose that in the second round, they that's should be fine. Because I'm telling you, it's obvious who they're going to go up against in the second round. That's the Raptors. Yeah. And we, as far as we long know the Raptors, the Raptors have a cool collective team. I remember they, they Kawhi now is dead. Yeah, they got Kawhi. And I remember Kawhi has been, has been known mm. to use, knowing that he can irritate someone yeah. and use that because he knows they'll make mistakes that he can, can capitalise on. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, definitely, definitely. Now with the Raptors now, like they've got three one, they're one over the Orlando Magic. Mm. You know, I think uh, a lot of people when they lo- when they lost the first game, a lot of people already started to doubt them. But I said, don't doubt. Let's see what they can do first, rather, because I think this year they have a better chance of making it to conference finals and the finals because of just the, how the team is structured now. Yeah, they have a much better chance. I, because I feel like now it's like. I feel like the first game because it, when they lost the first game, it was like, oh no! I feel like the first game, mm-hmm. the realism that they were in the playoffs didn't hit them yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like once they hit that first day, it was like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're in the playoffs. We yeah. need to actually heat up. Yeah. And they heated up, and that's when they decided to make that that comeback came back quick. Yeah. So, it's gonna be a thing. I feel like the Sixers, like, oh. I feel like this, the Sixers, if they can keep their head, they'll they'll be able to go against Toronto, and they might just hold. They might just hold it down. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. But I feel like whoever, I feel like the real the real problem is going to be whoever wins against Boston versus Milwaukee. I feel like yeah. that's going to be because yeah, there, because if the Sixers do make it to there, mm. and let's just say they do go against Milwaukee. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to keep. Nah, they can't. They can't. They can't. Especially how Giannis is. Well. Yeah, his Giannis personality. He's, to he's everyone else. Old. He knows how to. He knows, how, to, he knows how to get into your That's head. What I'm his personality. He is will. Mad. He will make you feel it. And the whole thing is, if they lose their head, mm. we're looking at fouls. That's it. And yeah. once we and once we get fouls, we're gonna get people getting. Technical. That's what I'm saying. I think and I would just, rather. That's what I'm saying. I would. I would rather see like a Milwaukee and a Toronto conference finals. Just because I know that, that one of these two teams is is cool and collected. Yeah. They're both cool and collected teams. Yeah. So so it's not gonna be thin. But I feel like if the Sixers do make it all mm. oh Ben Simmons Ben if Ben Simmons can't handle can't handle the fans being on him. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be an issue. Giannis is Giannis is mouth is gonna like, Yeah, no, of away. course. It's I think they they didn't have a scuffle with the season this year. So yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like bro, like I don't know, like that's the thing with the Sixers as but well. But the whole thing is, I, I don't know if you realize, but Joel Embiid has—he's been losing his cool a lot. Real, yeah, no, a lot. This you season. know what it is with Joel Embiid? It's because he's normally the one that stirs things, but then the moment he starts stirring things is the moment there's always someone to counteract that stir. Yeah, and because he because someone's done that now, he's just finding like, well, you know what? He's finding like, well. Now that Giannis is there, counteracting what he's doing now, yeah. it's grinding his gears. It's really grinding him. And the thing is, it's like, well, this is what happens when you start stuff and you can't finish. So mm-hmm. now you're going to be stuck with this person, whether you like it or not. Because I can't lie. Giannis, if they do face in, if they do face in the conference finals, mm. he's going to make them sweat. He's yeah, going to make them sweat. He is. Like, Giannis is going to remind them, yeah, like, bro, I was not given a Greek freak for no damn reason. <laughs> yeah, no, of course, I'm of course. I'm going to remind y'all, like, right now, 
he's going to make sure. But I, I see it. I see Joel Embiid getting a technical. Yeah, I see it. I can see. It. I see it, and I see it. Either he's put, he's getting at least three fouls to four. Yeah, or he's supposed to get fouled out. Yeah, of course, of course. Or he's going to be set, and he and if and if he gets set, it's going to drive him up it's the crazy. wall. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. That's what I'm saying, man. But yeah, like, <laughs> but I think even the Raptors, they could just do enough because they've got too many. Like, they got they just got Mark Gasol. Mm. Yeah, they got Kawhi. They got Serge Ibaka. They got Kyle Lowry. And then they got Danny Green. These guys are calm and collected. So imagine them shooting and just like doing. Kawhi does what Kawhi does, in you. Yeah? Mm. Imagine that. Like Jimmy's like especially Jimmy now. Jimmy's a hothead. Yeah. yeah. So imagine that now. He's getting frustrated. Ben Simmons is getting frustrated. Joy B's getting frustrated. The chemistry is just going to be lost. And the whole thing is, I know for a fact Butler Butler's going to get cocky mm. and he's going to try to think that he can take it. Yeah. But Kawhi, when it comes to defense. But he's, the, he's a defensive player for a, a year for the, for a reason for a for a reason. So he's going to he's going to lock you down. To which day you're going to get irritated. To which day you're going to start making start making mistakes. Ben yeah. Simmons is going to get mad at the fact that you're making mistakes. To mm. which is going to irritate him, mm. and the crowd's going to really going to be on him, and he's going to start to get in. Yeah. And Jordan B, it's just going to get mad because he's going to get mad. Yeah, exactly. And then oh, I'm sorry. That's three hot heads in one team. I'm sorry if they don't end up fighting each other. If they're is, getting sent off. Yeah, for real. That's it's, it's issues, man. It's issues. I think the only cool karma collector is Tobias Harris out of them and J.J. But, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But, but Tobias they, Harris and J.J. Reddy can't single-handedly keep these guys cool. Yeah, they can't. They can't. They can't. They can't. If really, if like, for example, Ben Simmons was a karma collector, but he'll be able to counteract the two and calm them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. the fact that all three of them, which is all three of the major guys, are basically all he Nah, I'm sorry. It's bro. mad. And the thing is, in season as well, like, um... I think weren't their roles getting diminished as well? So like one person was taking the smaller minutes. Yeah, Jimmy yeah. Butler did that. Joel and B did it. So already there's like there's issues there. With, I, I think honestly, a lot of people say trust the process, but it's not gonna last them. It's not that, that team there is not gonna last them. I feel like the only way that the process can be done is they get someone mm. who's able to actually calm all three of them down. Yeah, but until then, sorry, nah. sorry, like. I feel like the playoffs, the playoffs, like the first and second leg is always going to be where they're going to be at. Yeah. Because as soon as they get to there, come on, the East, the East have got people that are able to get into your head. Yeah. And and all thing like you said, Jordan B loves to stir the pot, but in the moment that someone else adds something to the pot, yeah, to make you start to get mad. Yeah. You lose it. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I can see. I can just. I, I can't. I don't know. Like maybe. Maybe. Yeah, the Sixers can pull it off, but yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I feel like right now, I think when it hits the second leg as well, your technical ability gets tested a lot more rather mm. than just like like pure skill. It's a it's your technical ability now. So endurance, guys endurance like, is needed. That's what I'm saying. I can see that guys like Kawhi, Giannis, they're gonna just go above it all. I can definitely see that. I can definitely see it. But um, any like, do you have any disappointments? Any teams that you're disappointed in that could have done better this year in the playoffs? Because I think I've got maybe what um, two. I've one, got two. two. So Lakers being one. Yeah. That I've I thought I I can't like as a as a Golden State fan. Yeah. I was there was a part of me that was actually scared mm-hmm. because I thought if they actually get themselves together. Yeah. Meeting them in the playoffs. And I don't know if we're going to meet them in the first leg, the mm-hmm. second leg, or even the conference finals. Yeah. But I know that meeting them would have drove me insane. Mm. Would have drove me insane. Because for one, just knowing that we had to deal with them in the fight, like in the actual playoff finals, finals yeah. was like, Not okay. So bad, was, wait, but it's dealing with them, knowing you could deal with them from the first leg. Yeah. Going, yeah, no. And plus, they're that. in the same division, playing them constantly. It's all sort of a bit. Um, other teams I wanted to see the Sacramento Kings get to the playoffs I thought they would have I thought they would have scraped why I made it I, I understand why but I feel like there was a lot of teams that readjusted this year yeah. that actually yeah. brought that they had like because they had newbies they were fired up mm. well I feel like Sacramento Kings have kept themselves in a the balance they've not really made that many changes Yeah. so yeah, yeah. it was kind of just like it's like someone buying a new car. 
the new car compared to the car that's been you driven for five years is going to yeah. have a little kick to it. Of course. So, of course. It's just that. But right now, the first the only thing that we can actually do mm. is watch the playoffs. See see who take who takes it to the conference. Yeah. And then from there we can decide on who's gonna make it to yeah. to the playoffs. Yeah, of course, definitely, definitely. Um Yeah, so um I think in terms of teams that are disappointed in in like the teams that are in now, I wanted to see a bit more out of the Detroit Pistons and the Oklahoma City Thunder. I was, I, I feel like like going who they were going up against, yeah. It was a fight or flight tactic. It was yeah. kind of like it's either you really come hard and you and you start swinging, yeah, or you just accept your defeat now. Mm. Now Oklahoma, I can't lie, that was a shock. That yeah. was a that was a yeah. like because right now what what is it on? It's right? three one. It's three one. Right, normally... And it's like, but at the same time, I don't I don't think we should count them out yet. Mm. I feel like it's three one. If they win the next game, then they're out. Yeah. But I feel like we've had we've had situations like that where it's been a three one, and we've had teams make a comeback. Yeah, of course. So it could happen. Mm. But I just hope that they heat up, mm. and I was hoping that this third game was kind of that, that little knock that they needed on the head to kind of say, "Yo, heat up now." But if they don't, then hopefully next season we can at least. I feel like we still. The teams are still relatively new. Yeah, I feel like we need, still need one more season just to kind of for them to get used to it, yeah, for the chemistry to be strong, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, boom, yeah, this kind of thing. Because we're still having a couple of changes that could be happening, mm. people moving, so yeah. it's still I it's think, still in um, transition. Yeah. So, the, but the Pistons, I was kind of, I mean, I could understand why and why they lost and who they're going up against. I, I can understand that because the Bucks is a tough team, but at the same time, it's like they have. I don't know what it's with the Pistons, but they've had. You know, just getting Blake Griffin, having Andre Drummond, I feel like that they have a back front court that is kind of developing, but they're still. I feel like they could have been a lot stronger. If you mm. know what I mean. But they they also need a piece to fix that their roster as well. Mm. It's just a matter of who and how. It's one of those moments where it's like. If they don't make it this season, which is looking like it could be so, mm. I'm hoping that next season, that within the off season gives them time to kind of build that chemistry back, that yeah. chemistry fully up, mm. um, figure out their own playing style, yeah, and then bring that to the court. Yeah, definitely. Um, but as of right now, we just have to deal with what we're seeing currently. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot of like three ones right now. We're looking like there's a lot of people that they could be knocked out. Mm. Um, now it's just only time will tell really on that on that part. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. But um, I mean, first round, but first round's pretty much over for some teams. Yeah, it's just I think I'm Denver. I'm Denver and Spurs. I'm tuning into that mm. just so I can just so I can see what team what either team can pull off you know but um yeah going back to Denver though I just um yeah like you said they need another piece they need someone to help change just change their mindset on like, what's going on mm-hmm. and they need that person who's play I think the only person who's had well the only two people who's had playoff experience on that team is obviously Paul Winsap and Isaiah Thomas mm-hmm. but even at that at their best it's still not enough yeah like they there's still something missing. And I feel like they just need that. They need that power runner, as I refer to it. That person who comes in and brings that power that they need in order to, like, take out whoever they need to take out. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, course. They need that heavy hitter. But yeah. um, only, like, the offseason will be where they'll kind of, they'll, they'll be looking. They'll see if they want to grab anyone. If they do, then it's cool. If they don't, then we just know that next season it's going to be... Um, it's going to be something to watch. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I think um, there was another team as well who I expected a bit more to make the playoffs as well. I thought the Wizards would have kind of scraped through, but after John Wall got injured, nah. Nah, John Wall was kind of their lifeline in, yeah. in a turn. Like, once John Wall got injured, it was like, dang. Yeah, yeah the boy is out. Like, he kids. 
But next season, if he can hold it out going to close, I feel like they would make it some better. Yeah. I think that team as well, they need an extra piece as well. They do need an extra piece because they've, they, I feel like, yeah, they've, they've actually been struggling. Mm. They've actually been struggling. They've actually really been struggling. But um, yeah, the Hornets as well, I would have liked to see them just make the playoffs. I would have seen like to see them just about make it. Just because that team is somewhat capable. Mm. But I feel like the teams that we have in the playoffs, mm. respectfully to them, they've made it, they've yeah. done it. But I feel like a lot of them were kind of lucky on the basis that the other teams fell through at the final at the final in the final moments. Yeah. If they didn't, we know that a couple of teams probably who are in the playoffs right now would have not been there. Yeah, true. And they would have been trying to regroup for next season. But they make it to the playoffs. Congratulations to them. Yeah. Um, wish them well on their first round. If they're in the lead, if they're not, then you just know you guys got to get ready for next season and yeah. bring the same energy you brought. I got you guys two there, mm. but more. That's cool. That's it. That's true. All right. So that's pretty much it for episode two. Uh, stay tuned for episode three. We'll hopefully be out either halfway through the second round of the playoffs or the end of the second round of the playoffs. Uh, shout out to my Viv just for helping out with today. No worries, no course, worries. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more.